Hello and welcome to the webinar of the new configuration tool ABB Terminal. The ABB Terminal is a new online configuration tool for easy planning of electrical installations. In the following we will explain the properties, functions and main advantages of the tool. The start screen of the configurator displays an overview of all created projects. This can be sorted by the name, by its manufacturer and by the modification date. With a click on the button Add New Project on the bottom of the screen, you can start a new project. Now you choose between KNX, ABB Free at Home and Electric Standard Installation Projects. In this presentation we create a new ABB Free at Home project. After confirming the creation of the new project, the basic settings will open. The most important parameter of a project are defined in the basic settings. In the first step basics, the project name and optional remarks are determined. On the bottom side, you can find another tab, Free at Home. There you can set the manufacturer and the switch range. Using a further option on the right side, you can define whether a weather station should be included or not. Moreover, the default temperatures of the different predefined heating modes are set here. With the other tabs on the top, you can add further more project information. Moreover, preliminary notes and special widgets about the installation are pointed out. The tab Devices gives you a current summary of all required devices automatically. After the basic settings have been completed, you can start with the planning of a new building. As a first step, a new floor has to be created by click the plus icon on the left navigation menu. The new floor appears directly in the left overview. Now the name, the order and the used distribution box can be determined. The small information icon next to the drop-down menu gives information about for which floor the distribution box is used. The next field remarks can be used to specify requirements and special properties of the created floor. Analog to new floors, new rooms can be created for each floor by the same way. The created rooms are also get a name first. Furthermore, you can define a room, type and installation value, which help you to find suitable functions later. The tab on the bottom gives information about the room functions, the dimensions and the used switch range. The recorded dimensions are relevant for the documentation exclusively. New functions can be created by clicking the button Room Configuration. By clicking the button you get to the overview page of the selected room. New functions can be generated by clicking the button Add Functions. Provided that you have selected a room type and an installation value, typical room functions which can be added to the appropriate room are suggested now. Alternatively, all desired functions can be added manually. The chosen functions appears after importing them in the overview of the selected room. To identify the different functions, we recommend naming all of them individually. The next step, we determine where and with which device our selected functions shall be controlled. Therefore, we create a new location via the plus icon on the left side. Once again, we name it to identify the location easily. Next, we choose how this location is to be controlled. We can choose between a push switch and a free at home panel. The allocation of our functions can be performed in two different ways. As long as the checkbox Extended configuration is deactivated. We can assign function via the button Actions, Scenes, Socket Assign. By clicking this button, the assignment mask appears, where we can simply add the different functions by clicking them.
when we activate it or when we activate the extended configuration an additional plus icon appears on the left side of our main menu. By clicking this icon we can add different kinds of switches and other devices like motion sensors or room, to, uh, room temperature controller. The added devices appear in the left menu under the corresponding location. Now you can use the tab assignment of one control element to specify the mode and the sign function or scenes by clicking the pencil icon next to it. In the appearing dialog you can select which functions should be assigned. Additionally to standard functions you can create user-defined scenes and assign them to any switch. The scenes are created and managed on the tab scenes on the right side. The button add scene opens a new dialog menu, where you can enter a name and a remark first. To add actions to a scene, open the next dialog by clicking the small plus icon next to assigned actions. All available actions can be added by checking the box of the desired functions to the scene. Furthermore, you can define the status of the control devices when the scene is activated. After closing the dialog, all chosen actions are monitored under Assigned Actions. All created scenes are monitored in the overview of the tab, tab Scenes. Now we can assign them to locations in Analog to Standard Functions. After clicking the pencil button, you can find your created scenes by selecting in building in the left-handed drop-down menu. To review the, pro the created project, ABB Terminal offers a particular and clear solutions. The current state of the projects is indicated in the title bar of the configurator, based on the colors green, yellow and red. By clicking the button Review Request, in the title bar, the detailed information of the configuration can be displayed. Green notification indicates general limits. Yellow notifications may require your interventions. Error and, and the configuration are indicated with red notifications, which must be solved. By clicking the arrow icon, you will take directly the area to which the message refers. With all of the presented, presented options and functions of the ABB terminal, you can create a complete project. To react to changes, re change requests in only a few minutes or use existing projects as a template for a new one, the ABB terminals offers handy transfer options. The base to use these options are existing projects. The structure and the sockets can be transferred from any project type into any other project type. The import functions can be used for similar project types, for example from an ABB, existing ABB Free at Home projects into a new ABB Free at Home project. The convert function works from standard installation projects into ABB Free at Home or KNX projects and from Free at Home into KNX projects. Thanks to these functions you are able to create a settlement offer in less than two minutes. For example, if you want to convert a ABB Free at Home project into a KNX project, first of all you have to create a new KNX project. After you have finished all basic settings, you choose Floors from Template. Instead of an empty floor. After that, you choose out the desired template on the left side. Now you can convert the template into the new project. Alternatively, single rooms can be used as a template too. The device list and the specification sheet are updated automatically. After the configuration of all floors and rooms, you can order all required documents of the project. The desired documents are selected in the second dialog of the Review Request menu. You can select, for example, the device list, the specification sheet or an export file to import 
the AVB or the building structure and group addresses into the ETS. By clicking Next, you get to the last dialog, where you can confirm you requested your request by clicking Request Now. After a few moments, you receive all selected documents by email. Thank you for your attention.